everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the raindrops shawl, which you can see here in front of you in the photo. There's also more photos on richtexturescrochet.com uh, where you'll also find the free written pattern. And I also have my sample one here for you to look at as well. So this is the raindrops shawl. It is a fairly easy shawl to work with a simple edging to finish it off. It uh, is shorter in length as far as how I've worked it here. It's about 20 inches uh, wide by 50 inches long laid flat. I'll give you some instruction later on in the video should you like to change the size of it. Uh, the uh, design today is worked using the Lion Brand Mandela and I've used a bonus bundle cake size cake and it only requires one of these cakes if you're making it to these dimensions. The cake itself is a medium worsted weight yarn. There's about 1181 yards per cake. Uh, again, you'll only need one. If you're looking for a substitute, I do find the Mandela Bonus Bundle yarn is a little bit on the lighter side, even though it's classified as a medium worsted, so you'll want to keep that in mind if you want the same dimensions. Now, I'm going to be working also with a 5 millimeter crochet hook. A copy of the free written instructions can be found on my website at richtexturescrochet.com, and you will find a direct link to that in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There are many other crochet shawl patterns here on my channel. You may want to check out the river shawl or the ocean shawl. Uh, lots of water themes when it comes to my shawls. Uh, those ones are great designs also as well, so definitely check them out. Let's grab our hooks and yarn and uh, begin this raindrop shawl. Our design today is worked in rows and we're going to be working the rows lengthwise. This is a rectangular shawl, so we're going to be working along that long edge. You're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain is going to be 242 chains. This is going to give you a length of approximately 50 inches. If you would like to change the length of your shawl, you're going to need a multiple of eight stitches plus two for the foundation chain. Today, I am going to be working a small swatch just to show you the stitch pattern and the edging. So I am going to change the size of my chain. I'm going to work a total of 34 chains today. But if you would like to work the entire shawl as I have, you're going to need a total of 242 chains. There's 32, my multiple of 8, 2 more to make 34. You're then going to single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Your chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. For row two, you're going to begin by working two double crochets into the first stitch. Chain one, skip the next three stitches and single crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next three stitches. Into your next stitch, you're going to work three double crochet stitches. Chain two, 
chain one and three more double crochet stitches all into the same stitch. We're now going to repeat chain one, skip the next three stitches, single crochet into your next stitch. Chain one, skip the next three stitches into your next stitch, work three double crochets, chain one, and three more double crochets. Chain one, skip the next three stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat this all the way across. until you have eight stitches remaining. Once you come and you have eight stitches remaining, you're going to finish off by chaining one, skipping the next three stitches, single crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip the next three stitches, and into your final stitch, work three double crochet. and that brings you to the end of row two. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row three, we're going to single crochet into that first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. Chain three, and work a puff stitch into the next single crochet stitch. To work your puff stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the single crochet stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You can give it a little bit of height. You're going to do that a total of three times. So that was once, twice, three times, yarn over, and draw through all the loops on your hook, you're then going to chain three and single crochet into the next chain one space. We're now going to repeat chain three into the next single crochet, work one puff stitch. chain three and single crochet into the next chain one space. You're skipping those double crochets in between. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to the end, you're going to finish off with a chain three and then a single crochet into the final stitch, which is the top of your turning chain three. That brings you to the end of your row three. At the end of row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row four, single crochet into the first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch and chain one. Next into the top of the next puff stitch you're going to work three double crochet, chain one 
and three double crochet. When I work into the top of my puff stitch, I'm actually working into the first chain of that next chain of that chain three that came after that puff stitch. So it's the first chain that kind of locked the puff stitch in place. So I'm going to work three double crochets. chain one and three double crochets. Chain one, single crochet into the top of the next single crochet stitch and repeat. Chain one into the top of your next puff stitch, work three double crochets chain one and three double crochets chain one and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch I'm going to repeat this all the way across ending off with a final single crochet into the top of your final single crochet stitch At the end of row four, you're going to chain six, which counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain three, and turn your work. For row five, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the, first, uh, into the chain one space that's between your double crochet stitches. So you're going to skip the first chain one, skip the next three double crochets, and single crochet into that chain one space. You're then going to chain three and work a puff stitch into the next single crochet stitch. Chain three, skip the next chain one and the next three double crochets, and work a single crochet into the next chain one space, chain three, skip the next three double crochets and chain one and work a puff stitch into the next single crochet stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way across. When you come all the way across, you're going to chain three and work one final double crochet into the top of your final single crochet. You can then chain three and turn your work. Now for the rest of the body of the pattern, you're going to repeat rows two, three, four, and five 12 more times. So you'll remember that your row two began with the two double crochets into the top of that first stitch and so forth all the way across. So repeat rows two, three, four, and five, 12 more times. And then you're going to finish off on a row two. You're going to repeat row two once more. At that time, you can fasten off, weave in your ends, and then meet me back here to work the edging. One final note when you come across at the end of your next repeat of row two, you're going to have this long chain six here. You're going to chain one and then into the third chain, which would be the top of your double crochet. You're going to work your final three double crochet stitches. So 
So now go ahead and continue to repeat your rows 2, 3, 4, and 5 uh, 12 more times and then finish off on your row 2. Once you have finished your repeats in your shawl, the width of your shawl is going to be about 20 inches. And what you're going to do is you're going to work an easy edging along the two short ends and along this shell, the long shell side. So what you're going to do is you're going to join your yarn. I have the right side of my fabric facing. You're going to join your yarn in with a slip stitch into the top corner, which is going to be your single crochet row, that first single crochet row. So you're going to simply join your yarn and then chain one. Now beginning along this short rough edge, you're going to work 90 half double crochet stitches evenly along. You can change this number of stitches as I'm going to today. Just make note of it so that you can work the same number of stitches on the other side. When you come all the way across, you're going to work one final half double crochet into your corner stitch. You're then going to make a pico. To work a pico, you're going to chain three and then slip stitch. Some people slip stitch back into the first chain. I prefer to slip stitch back into the post of the half double crochet down below. It just makes a little bit of a tighter stitch. You're then going to work a half double crochet into each of the next six stitches, skipping that chain one space. actually should have skipped that. I worked two stitches. I'm going to go back. My half double crochet in pico is in that first half double crochet on the corner, so into the next six stitches. Which should be two double crochets, your single crochet, and then the next three double crochet stitches. Into the next chain one space, you're going to work a half double crochet, double crochet, pico, and a half double crochet all into that chain one space. You're then going to work a half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Skipping the chain one in between. You're now going to repeat when you come to that chain one space between the double crochet sets, you're going to work a half double crochet, double crochet, pico, and half double crochet, then half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches.
all the way across. When you come all the way across to the final edge, you're going to work a half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. And when you come to your chain three, that starting chain three, or your final stitch, you're going to work your half double crochet, pico, and then turn your work so that you're working along that rough edge. You're then going to, once again, work 90 half double crochet stitches all along that rough edge, or if you changed the number of stitches you worked, just work the same number of uh, stitches. I worked nine, so I'm going to work nine here. You're then simply going to fasten off, weave in your ends, and that's how you work the raindrops shawl. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to take a look around. Feel free to subscribe, check out some of the other shawl patterns. And if you happen to share this on social media, be sure to tag Rich Textures Crochet so that I can come and admire it. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.